it's cold in Japan. And I'm not just saying that because I'm from Texas and apparently I don't understand the concept of winter. Even my friends from Nordic countries think that it's really cold. Here's the thing. A lot of Japanese houses, apartments, schools, things like that don't have central heating. For example, this place. You see that, that thing on the wall over there? This is our air conditioning slash heating unit. That is the only one in this house that this is the living room kitchen. And then there's two other rooms over here, our bedroom and our guest room slash what I thought was gonna be my study. Even if we crank that thing on full blast, it does not reach those two rooms. That when Ryosuke and I go to bed at night or wake up in the morning, we can usually see our breath. It is cold. So if you are stuck in Japan this winter or fortunate enough to be in Japan this winter, depending on how you look at it, these are my tips for surviving a Japanese winter. Um, first of all, and most importantly, Kaido, or heating packs. I love these things. There are different types, so there's types that you can put on your clothing and types you can put on your skin. Personally, I prefer the clothing type because it doesn't pitch so much. Uh, and this, it's a pack of 30 for about 450 yen, so it's incredibly cheap. I'm actually wearing a Cairo thing right now. Wait, I'm, I swear I'm not taking my clothes off for camera. See? Look at this little guy, look at this little guy. And you can totally tell I'm wearing sweatpants right now because it's cold. I usually keep them on my stomach and sometimes on my back when I'm going out and it'll produce heat for 10 to 15 hours, which is all I need for the day. The second thing that I will swear by is Yutampo or these things. And they're hot water bottles that go with the foot of your bed. So this kind goes in the microwave and it has kind of the instructions. If you're at 500 watts, it's three minutes and 10 seconds. And then it goes in this little case right here, so it doesn't burn your skin from touching it, which is nice. Ta -da. And then this one, I don't know if you can hear this, is water. And so we'll actually, hey, all my stuff is here. We'll heat it up in the hot water heater, water kettle, and then we'll pour this in there and it'll stay warm all night long. And then uh, Ryosuke likes to use it then to wash his face in the morning because it takes a couple minutes for our hot water to get running. Uh, so he doesn't have to wash his face in cold water. You can dual purpose thing. For when you're staying at home, the easiest way to stay warm is definitely getting a kotatsu. And so kotatsu is like a small table with a, a heater at the bottom. And then you put a big blanket over it. And so the big blanket will trap all the heat in there. And several family members can just be under the table at one time. The only problem with it is you have to sit on the floor. So actually, Ryosuke and I don't have a kotatsu. We were thinking about getting one, but I can't work when I'm slouched over. It's difficult for me sitting on the floor. And so we kind of just decided to go with a regular size table instead. But Ryosuke's family uh, out in Ibaraki has a kotatsu. So every time we're visiting, Ryosuke and I will just like sleep under the kotatsu all afternoon because it's so warm and beautiful. Um, other things you can do if you don't want to buy a kotatsu like us, we have an electric blanket that I will sometimes wrap around me all day, or um, before we get into bed at night, we'll turn on the electric blanket for about 10 minutes to warm everything up, and then throw the hot water bottles underneath there, turn off the electric blanket, and just like cuddle together for warmth, which is kind of romantic, I guess. Um, so kotatsu and electric blanket. Oh, oh, also electric heater or a space heater. I don't know if you can see it in this video thing, that white thing down there, that is my space heater. And so I work at this desk kind of all day. That would keep my legs and feet warm, which really helps. You do have to be careful though, when I first got it, I burned my legs so many times because I would just get too close to the heater and not realize it. And then I burned my legs, so that happened. Another super wonderful whatever for the winter is Uniqlo's Heat Tech or Heat Tech clothing from stores. So this is an exam this is one of my Heat Tech shirts. Whee! Sorry. It's super light, it's not at all thick. It can go underneath most clothing without you even seeing it. And it does a really good job of trapping the heat in and still being very breathable and movable. The last kind of article of clothing that I will swear by that you should definitely have is a down jacket, haha. <laughs> um, so of course down jackets are important. This is a kind that you can, well, I guess I'll just put it on now. It looks weird. So this one is a layering one. It doesn't really go on the outside. Um, that I often actually wear it underneath this hoodie or underneath sweaters. Actually, this is Ryosuke's. We have matching ones. I didn't realize I grabbed his on accident, oops. Um, that you can layer it underneath your clothing. And so you do kind of 
felt a little bit but just does a great job trapping the heat in stopping the wind from getting through so usually when i'm working i'll be wearing this or when i'm going out to meet friends I have quite a few kind of trench coats or pea coats or things like that and so I'll layer this under it so that the coat still looks cute fashionable and all that other kind of stuff but it has this layer of poofiness that keeps me warm and so this is my nice down jacket and then I kind of attach it comes with this little carrying case and a cool fun thing is you can pack it up and it slips right in here ta-da and so I mean it's super light yay and I can just pack it so this is the ultra light down uh, that I love. Japan is freakishly cold in the winter, of course, but there are things you can do, and at least our heating bill is never typically expensive because we're only heating this one room, so it's less than $100 a month, which is fabulous. Um, so I hope you learned something new and interesting today about how to survive Japan in the winter, and definitely check out some of these products or something like that if you want to stay warm. All right, thanks for watching. Bye!